with me again today. Today I have a bit of a double feature for you. I'm going to be unboxing two subscription boxes. Um, they're from two completely different companies and I will explain the companies a little bit um, while I open uh, each box. The first one is not a, um, not a treat box, it's not edible, so I will be doing the edible one second, um, because I know that some people don't like eating noises, which I will see for the very, very end of the video, so that for those of you who do not enjoy that, you don't have to enjoy it. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and get started, and just to try it out again, here I have the other uh, camera angle view. And as you can see, the first box is by a company called Bloom. A very interesting company that's unlike a lot of the subscription boxes I've seen. Here's what it looks like. I forgot to plug out my address. So. so this company will send you a monthly or they might do other um, subscriptions as well, I'm not sure. I will link both of these companies in the description box so that you can see for yourself. But this company uh, basically sends you a monthly or every few month uh, subscription box based on your liking and your child's liking. So if you have a baby or a, a child, you will put in your information and your child's information as far as date of birth. And every month, depending on how old your child is, they will send you certain things that could be useful for you with a, say, six-month-old or three-year-old or four-year-old. So sometimes it's snacks, sometimes it is toys or clothes. And um, I think that you can pick if you'd also like things for yourself in there. So uh, like stretch mark cream or safety devices. Um, so I thought that this would be a really good idea to show something like this because um, as most of you know, I have a two-year-old and I'm pregnant. Um, also, I'm not 18. A lot of people think I'm really young. I'm not. I'm 28. Actually really old. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, um, so I thought that this would be a fun thing to share with you. So, let's go ahead and open. And I'll show you. This is what it looks like. It comes with a little flyer. Just telling you a little bit about the company and saying your box Obviously, this is from February. This is your February box. Um, I'm running very behind on my subscription boxes, so that's why it is nearly June. Um, let me just. things out one by one so that it's easy. 
easier to show you here and explain a little bit about the product. I don't see a piece of paper in here explaining uh, the product. The back of the flyer is just blank, so I'm just going to have to go off of what it says on the back of it. Um, also, I don't know if you can tell or if you care, but I broke a nail. I didn't just flip you off. Oh my god, that looked terrible. Um, all my other ones are nice and long, and then this one, which I use often to point or trace things for videos, uh, broke off. So I hope that it doesn't bother you all too much. I didn't want to cut the rest of my nails. It took so long to get here. <laughs> okay, anyway, you probably don't care, so let's just keep moving on. Uh, this first product is called Oil Logic Essential Oil Care Ouchies and Boo Boo. Essential oil ointment. So I'll show it here too because sometimes I have a lot of trouble with my my second camera. So this says naturally com comforts minor ouchies, scrapes, and boo boos with a blend of essential oils. So this looks like perhaps like a neosporin type thing. a little foil protectant and I would assume you can just put it right on the skin. Oh, it's clear. You can see that. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, it's very, very it's, so it's, it's like oil. I don't know if <laughs> I'm sure most of you figured that out by now. It's just me. It smells really good. So when I did this, I did my daughter's age. Um, and at the time she was, I mean, she was still two. She was just over two. Um, so all of these things should be approved for her age. It smells really good. It's like, uh, can't really describe it. It smells a little bit like berry-ish. Let me see if it has the ingredients. Oh, well, the directions are cover affected area with oilogic ouchies and boo-boo's essential oil ointment to boo-boo and apply bandage. Reapply one to two times a day as needed. So, yeah, I think that you use it as if you would use Neosporin. This smells way better. Any is born, so I'm gonna keep this around. I really like that. The next thing I have did 
not sure how much my camera is covering, so I'm telling you guys, I have like an issue with the second cameras here. So I'll show it right here. This is a dish soap. So you put it, I believe, in your dishwasher. It's called Rockin' Green Auto Dish Detergent. Hardcore concentrate, one tablespoon per load, and it does up to 30 loads. It says, our grunge core technology targets your problem areas, be it baked on bologna or hard water headaches. We have it covered without having to pre-rinse. You're welcome. So, I do have a dishwasher, so I will definitely be using this and trying it out. So it's not tested on animals, it's formulated for all water types, and it says tree hugger approved and phosphate free. So I'm not a tree hugger, but I know some, so <laughs> it's good to have. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead, I'm going to open it. instructions as well, just while I'm opening it. It says, load your dishwasher with dirty dishes, fill your main detergent compartment with soap, wash, and put your feet up and have a drink. You've worked hard today. So this is a pull tab. Let me try to get it without making lots of noise. So obviously, as you could hear, it's a powder. As you can see in there. It smells interesting. It smells clean. But it smells like something else in there as well. I really can't tell. It, it's definitely like, it definitely smells like more natural than um, Cascade or anything like that. But yeah, it, I'm looking forward to trying it out. I really can't put my finger on it, but I just realized it says here, in a survey of 100 people, 101 said they hated doing dishes. And I have to agree with the 101 out of 100. Although, I just very recently, within the last year, did I get a dishwasher at all, so I hate doing them less now. One thing I will say about this, which is a little bit interesting, is that um, it's just a pull to open. Um, I'm not sure if this is like suitable. If I'm, I'm assuming not, obviously, but um, I tend to buy the pods um, that have a lock on the top of it so that um, it's harder for kids to get into. I also keep it up high and in the closet, but um, you know, you hear these horror stories about kids getting a hold of things like that and eating them and whatever, so, you know, terrible things can happen, so, um, I don't know, we'll see. I'll okay, so the next thing I have in here looks like something that my daughter will really enjoy, some alphabet smart cookies. So, this says Alphabet Shaped Smart Cookies by Bitsy's Brain Food. Sweet potato oatmeal raisin. And it's nut free. My daughter is not allergic to nuts, but I know a lot of um, daycares or kindergartens um, 
ask you not to bring anything with nuts or peanut butter in it because of um, so many children being allergic. So, that's good. So there are organic and they're made in the USA. This is what the bag looks like. So I'm going to just go ahead and open this. do too much eating sounds, but I feel like if I'm testing out most of the products in here, I might as well. They're pretty good. taste the oatmeal, a little bit of the sweet potato. The sweet potato is definitely more of an aftertaste. I can definitely taste it now. And you get um, you know, a pretty good amount in there for giving it to a two-year-old. It says excellent source vitamins A, B12, B6, D3, and folic acid. And then on the back it also has a little story of how it began. So it basically says that two mothers went to the grocery store trying to find some healthy, fun snacks for their kids, and anything that was healthy wasn't really fun, and anything that was fun wasn't really healthy, so they tried to combine them, and I think they did a good job. Those taste really good. So this is the last product in the box, so that makes a total of four. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the retail is on this. I believe it's $20 a month, um, but they also don't send anything with it to tell you how much uh, individually the products are, so that can be a little bit challenging just because it might be nice to see that you're actually getting, um, you know, your money's worth, but so um, this next product is a magnet cabinet lock by 3M. So these are really good to have to um, just lock anything that you need to, like under the sink or where you're going to keep your um, cleaning material and uh, chemicals, products, things like that. So these ones are especially cool because you put it on the inside of a cabinet and then you take the magnet and you run it along and it unlocks from the inside but you need the, the magnet to open it so it's like a, like a little key in the lock basically it's very very cool the one thing I will say is that you have to be careful to always know where the magnet is it's easy to lose things I'm telling you um, so when you open it you get this cute little uh, note and the note says, Hello, thank you for supporting our small business and for purchasing our magnet cabinet locks. We spent the last two years developing these locks, so trust me when I say I hope you enjoy them for many years to come. Love, Natalie Ortiz, co-founder of Safety Baby. So, I guess 3M is just the technology behind it, because I know 3M is not a small company. I guess safety. Oh, I see it now. Duh. 
Safety Baby up there is the name of the company. So it feels good also to um, get products from people who have worked very hard at, um, you know, making a difference. So this tiny box is what they come in, and it says two locks and one magnet key come in. So these pieces that stick up onto the top of the cabinet and this piece sticks on the side of the cabinet and they kind of lock in somehow but you need a, a flat surface to do it so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to uh, display it for you but it's pretty cool the way that it works so this is like the key obviously the magnet key So overall, this bloom box was um, nice to get some things for yourself and baby. Um, it was evenly, this one was pretty evenly distributed, two for baby and two for mom. Um, I would say that I will definitely use the magnet lock. I will definitely use the, um, or I'm, I'm hoping to use the boo-boo ouchies thing. I would love to use it. Um, sometimes those things aren't so readily available like you wish that they would be, even if they're like in your bag or something. Um, I am going to see how she likes the cookies and, uh, we'll see about the, the laundry, I'm sorry, the, um, the dish detergent because I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. The smell is weird, but we'll see. So, so I'm going to just put everything out here that we got from the bloom box. And so, I'll just review, we got the magnet clip, the um, essential oil, of Neosporin-esque thing. Uh, the ABC cookies and the dish detergent. So. Also, one good thing to say about them, really good thing, is it has this cool we have two. We'll just move right along. So the next box, as I said, is edible. Obviously not the box itself, but 
the contents are edible. It is from a wonderful company named Treats. Let me grab it here. I think the box is too big for me to show the way that my second camera is set up, so I'll just show it like this. So, first of all, I love the way the box looks. It um, looks like a Tiffany's box, kind of. Um, also, at least to me, this box came in a brown box over it so that you couldn't see what the box actually was or what it said, which I love. I hate when I get boxes delivered and you can see what the product is. Um, it's kind of like just inviting people to sort of help themselves if they feel like they want to anyway. I don't know, but I love that it came in a brown box over So as you can see, it has the name here, Treats. It has a little earth. And I believe that this is a fairly new company. And I know before opening the box that all of the treats in this box are from Germany. Um, I'm not sure if they will be doing a more sort of mixed bag. Um, subscription box in the future or if you just subscribe and every month you get um, treats from a specific country but either way I'm really excited to open it this is also one that I've had for a few months so we'll just get right into it so fun opening these. Oh. So, you can't see much. Just from opening the box. So I will move the tissue paper. And these are right on top, so we'll take a look at those in just a second. And those are all my delicious treats that I cannot wait to try. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first card is a postcard from Berlin, Germany. And as I said, all of the treats in the box are from... Uh, if they're all from Berlin. Let's see. It says, This month's treats came from Germany, a country well known for its beer, pretzels, and its love for chocolate. Chocolate is so beloved in Germany that Germany is actually the world's second largest consumer of chocolate. As you dig in your box, you will find some of the most popular chocolate brands in Germany represented such as Milka and Kinder, of which both companies are known for their quality chocolate and the creativity behind their products. You will also discover other German favorites such as wafers and hazelnuts which play a huge role in German snack culture as well as savory flavors you may have never tried before such as sour cream flavored potato sticks by Lorenz, one of Germany's premier potato chip brands. There's something in this box for everyone to enjoy so sit back, relax, and take a culinary journey to Germany. Your taste buds will thank you for Guten Appetit. I probably said that terribly, but love the treats team. So, so I really like that. That you get a little postcard that is really, really cute. And sort of helps to live in the experience. Um, there's another one explaining a box giveaway going to again link the uh, website in the description box so you can take a look at all of their uh, products and things from there. And I love this. I'm so excited for this. This is a card that explains or describes every single treat that is in the box. So I'm very excited for that. So I'll try to go in order. I'll actually 
I guess it's easier for me just to pull them from whatever's on the top, so. So this is the first thing that I saw. I have like a full size bag of potato chips here. Super exciting. Okay. So this is the Lorenz Crunch Chips. Um, it is in, I don't even know if this is fitting into the, it's in a paprika flavor. It says, Crunch Chips Paprika by Lorenz. Crunch Chips are a line of potato chips by Lorenz and paprika is its most popular flavor. That's interesting. Crunch chips are made from potatoes grown by Lorenz and are known to be baked in sunflower oil and processed with no artificial flavors. That's super exciting. And of course everything is in German. I believe it's German. A year of German in high school, which again was a while ago because I'm not 18, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Um, oh, it has it in a few different languages actually. So I'm super excited to try these. a little familiar. They are Smurf gummies. And Haribo is a um, brand that I recognize. I have seen it here multiple, many, many times. Um, they also make gummy bears, which are very These are the palm sticks that I read about. They are sour cream flavored. I have only had uh, sour cream and onion flavored chips, so this will be exciting. I will read a bit about this as well, although I'm sure it's pretty similar to the paprika flavored chips. Palm stick sour cream are sour cream flavored sunflower oil baked potato sticks. They are 
crunchy in texture and well-balanced in taste, with the flavor being lightly salted with a hint of sour cream. I love sour cream, so I'm super excited. The next thing I see is this Kinder Chocolate. Kinder is also a brand that I see often in some corner stores around where I live. And um, they also have the Kinder chocolate eggs, which my daughter loves. And they're not very easy to come across because they have toys in them. And they've been banned from the US, but there are still some, um, specifically if I remember, Brazilian corner stores that do sell them. She loves when we get them as a treat. And this says, Kinder chocolates are individually wrapped chocolate sticks with a creamy milk filling. It is one of the most popular snacks from Kinder. If you're feeling adventurous, we recommend trying some of them frozen. Oh, I will. Thank you. <laughs> I would have never thought of that, but I certainly will be trying. My daughter will get a kick out of all this stuff. She's going to love it. So they're individually wrapped, which is good. So, yeah. Oh, it says eight bars right on it. Sometimes I'm not good at paying attention. The next thing. sort of like Cheetos, but they are flavored with like peanut butter. Um, it says right here, knickknacks by Lorenz. Knickknacks are peanuts enclosed in a savory and salty shell coating. Okay, so maybe they won't taste like Bamba. Um, due to its outer shell being crispy in texture while it's enclosed, peanut is crunchy to bike knacks, possess the reputation of having a double crunch. That sounds amazing. I'm super excited. So the reason that I said that they're not like Bamba, I guess, is that Bamba is just like a Cheeto. It's just um, flavored, like peanut butter. This looks very crunchy and like there are several components to it, so I'm very excited to try this. I still have three things to show. So this is called Canuda Hazelnut Wafers by Ferrero. Hanuda Hazelnut Wafers are wafers with a filling of a chocolate spread and hazelnuts, giving it a rich, unique taste and three different textures. Crispy from the wafer, soft from the filling, and crunchy from the hazelnuts. I love coffee and hazelnut um, flavored things, so I'm sure that I will and it says there are two in here, so I wonder if that, if the filling is a bit like Nutella. Let's 
Seems like it may be. The next thing I have looks a bit like the packaging or like the same thing, but it's not. These are Choco Moo by Milka. Choco Moos are cow-shaped cookies. That's cute. Uh, topped with a layer of milk chocolate, crunchy in texture and lightly sweet to the bite. These cookies are simple in construction and deliciously addictive to taste. I may have to save these for my daughter. She loves anything that looks like an animal and she gets really excited, so. Although it feels like there's two in here, so maybe I can take one. I love this kind of texture. not like a shiny foil. Um, it's like a more of like a dense like a dense paper. It sounds more it sounds more like crunchy than crinkly to me. Is any of this making sense? And my last treat in the box. Kinder Bueno. Kinder Bueno by Ferrero. Kinder Buenos are crispy, chocolate-covered wafer bars with a rich hazelnut cream filling. They come wrapped in two individually sealed plastic sleeves so that you can eat one and save one for later. That's a great idea because I love Twix bars, but they don't come individually wrapped. You sort of have to eat them together same time and they melt so quickly so this is a great idea so now I get to try my treats which is super exciting and I'm going to try I'm very interested about these paprika chips, so let's open it and see. They don't really have like a paprika smell, they just smell like potato chips. So this is the eating part. So if you don't like it, I would not watch past this very second. very good. The paprika is like just like a hint. It's not overpowering at all, which is good. I'll have one more. Okay, so my camera randomly stopped, so I finished crunching that chip. They're delicious. So I'm gonna keep going now. Um, I'm gonna try the sour cream chips as well because I think that's the last savory one that I have and then I'll try just a few of the sweet ones, not all of them because there's so many <laughs> so the palm sticks are the next ones that I'm going to try these are the sour cream flavored potato sticks and it actually tells you to open them on the side here like a little zipper Oh, cool. So it really does like, open like a little zipper. So I have one palm stick here. The sour cream taste is more like when you first put it on your tongue rather than 
like throughout the entire eating process. But it's good because I think too much sour cream would be like overpowered. Delicious Lorenz. So I'm going to try two uh, sweets. I'm going to try a the Haribo Gummy Sweets. And I'm going to try the um, Lorenz Crunchy Potato um, <clears throat> Treats. Because I think those give a good sort of like mix of texture. So here are the gummies. And I never really watched the Smurfs growing up. I know that um, there's a movie out and I've actually seen it. Um, I'm babysitting, but they really are cute. I'm going to try a blue and white one because that's one that I pulled out. I'm just going to do the whole thing. There very good, but they're definitely a just different consistency than gummy bears. They're not so chewy. They're, well, they're very chewy, but they're more like you can sort of break it apart rather than them just becoming like mush in your mouth. So I'll do one more. Um, I'll try to get a red and Very sticky. <laughs> it's a good thing I brought some water in here. <laughs> oh, sticky. Really good though. And I will probably finish these before the day is over. <laughs> so now I'm going to try the knickknacks. And I know I said that these were sweet. I'm just assuming that they're like a sweet and salty mix, but I guess they could just be salty. But I guess we're about to see. I should have brought scissors with me, but I didn't. These are definitely going to be salty. <laughs> just from the smell, I can tell. So these look pretty small. Um, Definitely salty, not sweet. Really good. So, try to take a bite of this one so you could see like an outer shell and then the peanut is inside. Mm. These are really good, but not really what I thought they were going to be. I thought 
thought they were gonna be a little sweeter, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try one more sweet thing because I sort of wanted to end on a sweet note. No. We'll do the bueno bar. So as it said, they were individually wrapped, so the other one in here. So a nice thing about Kinder, what I've um, seen in the past anyway, is that on their bars they tend to sort of uh, divot them so that you can like break it off or know where to bite it for a good si good size bite. But sometimes with candy bars you can just bite like the entire thing. So this is melting, so I'm just gonna bite it right off of the. to see if the corner store that sells Kinder products has these. It's a good thing that they're individually wrapped because they're very melty. So, thank you so much for coming here with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have more videos coming out. I'm definitely going to try to be more consistent. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon. Have a very peaceful and pleasant